Okay, I'm going to do a quick video about I got a new starter in to replace the old one. This is on the Kohler and I looked at I let me let me do it. I put a lot of grease and stuff down the side there and I'm looking and this is an expensive starter. There's a damn bushing in there. There's no bearing. It runs on a, a bushing. That's another another uh, thing to let you know that it's a cheap starter. Uh, they always put all these numbers and crap on here. And I know it shows data manufacturer, but these numbers... Do not correspond with this old one. And they're same dimensions. They have the same layout as far as, well, you know, a placement of the positive plug. Positive lug. Damn it, I'll get that right. Now I'm going to try to fix this one. And this is going to be in upcoming videos. And if I'm successful, then I can teach you how to fix this permanently where it, it will last for years. It's an idea I've had and I, I'm going to try it out. But what I'm going to do with this new one is you see the shiny stuff that comes in these rolls. This is heat, uh, heat wrap or heat tape. It's, uh, I believe it's got an adhesive back to it. They use this like on um, the firewall or around heater boxes uh, to protect, you know, when you get a manifold near something like that. What I'm going to do is I've measured around, but I got to cut a notch in for that. And I'm going to put that on the body of this because this is very thin. And I wanted some something to try to keep the heat off these things. These things are burning up too much. On these Kohler engines and I still hadn't figured out what it is there's no nothing near it that throws heat on it but maybe it's conducting through the body this connects to the body of the motor and that's one source and I can't fix that I can't stop that I don't know how I would but I'm gonna do this and let me show you what it looks like after I get it on there and get it done I got it wrapped around. I went a little bit over right there. It wasn't straight on my top cut, but it's straight on the bottom and I'm, I'm, on, I'm away from the positive lug. Um, I'm going to get some air conditioned vent uh, tape and make sure, put a wrap around it to make sure that stays on. So let me do that. Okay, this is it air condition it's vent vent tape it's got a, like aluminum body to it uh, it comes in rolls i went around the middle uh you see that this stuff is is a it's kind of like a fiberglass based uh header wrap is th thicker it would have done too I, I don't know if i had the clearance but i like how thin this stuff is so and and i put this around that extra this around this middle to insulate it well to hold that tape on so i came up here to get here's an get me a wrench and i'm gonna bolt it back together lube that end up it surprised me i've never looked inside there but it doesn't surprise me. You look inside there and there's a damn bushing. There's not a bearing. It's a bushing. Now I threw some grease inside there. And that's to make it live. Um, I'm pretty sure you don't have to lube up these, the starter gear, because all that stays dry and there's no crap. It gets up, should get up in there. So, this is what I'm trying to do to make this damn thing live longer. Just try to take some heat off it.
Um, like I said in upcoming videos, I'm going to try to modify this to make, to show you guys how to make these permanent and better. So, if I if I'm if I'm correct and if I am able to fix these insides, then the only problems you'll have is be with these bendix uh, and the bushings wearing out. But with anything on the bushings, you put the proper lube in there and it should last a long time. So I'm going to use that to experiment with. So this was a little short video um, insulating a starter to try to get the heat out of it. So time to go back to work and throw shit together. Uh, anyhow, uh, this was a short video, but... Um, any O'Reilly's, you could get this kind of stuff uh, over in the uh, performance parts department. You'll see that up against the wall. But anyhow, um, I just happened to found that. I had that in store in my in my uh, storage. So anyhow, you guys have a good one. Keep in mind, keep me in mind for all your videos, and we'll catch you on the next video.